Today, I will show you some Minecraft features that only older Minecraft players can remember. And for this example, I will be doing Minecraft 0.30 for this test. And this video will contain in some interesting facts that only older Minecraft players remember. So I will do something. But before I do these facts, these will only be for older players, but newer players can find this stuff interesting. So I'm going to show you all these, these stuff. And now, here's the first fact you may notice. The first thing is what you see is that that many of the blocks have different texture changes and I'm going to show you some examples and these three examples are the iron block the gold block and the bricks these three blocks have different kinds of texture changes through the classic phase and, the, and this texture you're seeing is that for these two blocks is that they have a darker color on the bottom and for the bricks they look very very bright they look like they had a brighter color and then in the official release they were changed to these kind of textures that we have today which is an interesting fact and also you can see that the inventory layout is also different as well and opening the inventory is also different because you had to press B on your keyboard instead of E or I but a thing is that you can fix that in the, in the settings for the controls but we're not gonna do that though and also if I press F5 it can toggle the rain to be on or off but the sky doesn't change. Interesting fact. Now one thing for, for the coal, iron, and gold is that they were both added in Minecraft Classic and you could, could believe on what this is. And now mostly they could be found on surface levels since caves were not yet added into the game. And another thing is that the survival tests didn't come until later classic versions. And so that, that the thing about, about them is that they were used for doing in building purposes and testing purposes since you may know this and also one thing you may notice is that if you if you're seeing this right now you will tell that the grass the leaves and the trees have a brighter texture since biomes were not yet added into the game but it wasn't until alpha 1.2 which was when biomes were now added giving the grass, leaves, and the trees their own texture that we have today. And also, one other thing is the, the fan favorite block, the rose. Now, the rose has been in the game for a very long time, if you can see these on screen. And they were in the game for quite a while, until 1.7.2, where the poppy was sadly replaced by... The, or no, the rose was sadly replaced by a poppy but still you could be able to use an anvil to rename the poppy to a rose very simple and also if you can see a select block item there were no name tags back then and even most players used to used to name wool as cloth since it didn't have its own unique name. But then Notch ended up, up adding name tags in beta 1.0 and they were uh, forced to rename cloth to the wool. 
But it may just be all those people that weren't thinking about this idea. And if you were familiar with playing in some older versions is that you notice that the dandelion used to be called the flower since it didn't have its own name in the older versions of Minecraft. It may not be until beta 1.0 where, or no, it may not be until Minecraft 1.0 where it has its own unique name where it was called the dandelion and everyone's familiar with the dandelion in real life and also if you can see something right now is that the game mode was an infinite is that it was a cube world that is surrounded by infinite water and bedrock and also there was a thing about some interesting facts is that you could there were older liquid physics for the lava and water which made it possible to flood the whole entire map and this was a very a random feature in, from minecraft classic back then and also before minecraft was able to be played on minecraft launcher it used to be a free-to-play version on the website of Minecraft, where it is a um, a free-to-play creative class game mode that you can play single-player and multiplayer. But however, or uh, or uh, when the game was released for uh, Minecraft Classic and Minecraft Launcher, uh, the multiplayer was then removed. From the game and the game was taken out from the website and also there's no water or lava buckets at all there's just only blocks and there are some other facts about this and also you could not naturally find obsidian you just had to find it in the inventory layout uh, yeah just everyone's familiar with the obsidian you could mine it with the diamond pickaxe but there wasn't a pickaxe back then. And with water or lava, you have to naturally find it, like in a cave, cave, or even on land, like as you can, as you could see on the, as you can see it right now. So there it is, the water. And other thing you should know is that that some interesting facts about about this game is that there was no flying in classic mode. Like I'm trying to press spacebar twice, but it's not allowing me. It wasn't until beta 1.8 where creative mode has been added, and you could have the ability to fly and of course sprint. And sprinting wouldn't even work as well. Oh, so it, so it seemed to make you, so it seemed to make the game more challenging. And even some interesting facts about this is that that is a very familiar item. One is the bed, and now the bed was added in the. In the Minecraft beta 1.3 but before beta 1.3 you wouldn't have the ability to sleep but you could use a different block for your set spawn point and it sure seems to be something interesting <laughs> but then in the one point or no the beta 1.3 update the the other set spawn block was then replaced by the bed and they both had different abilities. So you could set spawn your point. And before that, you could just, you had to just wait out the time and it could be a lot easier to kind of die. And even in the game, there was no sun. The reason why I said that uh, is because you couldn't see the sun at all. Because it was always day. 
which is a simple thing. And also, in the survival test, you were able to do something cool with TNT, where if you punch it, you could click on it again, and then it would allow you to defuse it and then pick it back up. But then in Minecraft Infdev, that idea was then that idea was later scrapped. And so in later in the versions, the game, that idea was scrapped. Because lots of people wouldn't seem to do, do much with that. And they thought that the game would be too easy. And another thing is that uh, you have limited arrows in the survival tests. And here's here are a few reasons. Now, you start with 20 arrows. And there was no bow, so you had to, like, like, um right click and then boom it'll fire at the mobs and there was a testing purpose for armor in survival tests as where it would be fit only to the mobs but the only ones that were in were the chest plate and the helmet but they didn't that they were only for testing purposes so it didn't made make the the mobs mobs more resistant to to damage but it just wouldn't make them um protective and one more fact is that uh, lots of ideas for the game had really nice ideas and some ideas that i introduced were there was no crafting table but it was added in Minecraft Indev, which made Minecraft into what it is today. But also, uh, before beta 1.2, they used to call the the crafting table as a workbench. And the reason why it's called the workbench is that it looked like like you could do work and just be a blacksmith. But then in beta 1.2, Notch thought of the name Workbench being too often. And then he renamed the name Workbench to Crafting Table. And it was a very simple thing. And lots of other ideas were simple back then. And it's because... As naturally, that was a very simple thing. And also, the thing about mushrooms is that they were, they would only be spot in shade. So, I'll show you an example. Just wait for it to disappear. It may take a little time. You see? Saw what happened? It disappeared. So that's why you can only plant... So you can only place mushrooms in shade only. Since it will disappear in sunlight. But if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. And leave a like and subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. And make sure to leave some comments on what you want me to do. And be sure to subscribe to be featured next. And that can be all for this video. And I'll be sure to check the amount of likes. And if I get 100 likes on my previous video that I did a couple of weeks ago. I'll be sure to do a part 2 tomorrow. But not sure if I could make that. But still, I could think about this. Alright, well, that's pretty much all.